Bellator 263 features one of the biggest fights in Bellator history. The Featherweight Grand Prix Championship and $1 million on the line in the main event. Bellator's pound for pound king and two division world champ Patricio Pitbull looking to continue his dominance. Holds Bellator records for fights, wins, and is tied for the most finishes with 13. Takes on the rising star AJ Mercenary McKee. Perfect 17-0 with all 17 fights coming under the Bellator banner. We're going to take the belt and the $1 million prize. Just over 90 seconds into round one. AJ McKee lands a head kick, stuns Pitbull, drops him with the hands, prematurely celebrates, but right after that sequence, McKee locks in a standing guillotine. Pitbull tried to fight out of it, but McKee would not let go. Referee calls a stop to the fight. It's over. AJ McKee dethrones Patricio Pitbull via first round submission, does a backflip for good measure. Pitbull loses for the first time since 2016. AJ McKee, the 26 year old from Long Beach, California, wins the Bellator Featherweight title Grand Prix and a million bucks. Have a day, kid. Now, both fighters bury the hatchet for now. Not the last time you're going to see these two in the cage. But A.J. McKee, hope you had it on the money line. Our Rashad Evans and Brian Campbell telling you to take McKee on the money line. So that pays out. Putting some knowledge in your mind, money in your pocket. And A.J. McKee, straight cash, homie. 18 straight wins. The longest will, uh, win streak in Bellator history. A.J. McKee via first round submission. over in LA and it did not take long two minutes in AJ McKee with a first round guillotine puts Pitbull to sleep it's his 18th straight win all under the Bellator banner the longest winning streak in Bellator history this kid's 26 years old from Long Beach California fighting in front of his hometown fans there in Los Angeles essentially and he puts on a show and he takes down the number one pound for pound fighter Patricio Pitbull to win the featherweight Grand Prix championship and one million dollars. Let's break it down. Welcome in UFC Hall of Famer Rashad Evans, CBS Sports Combat Analyst and co-host of Morning Combat, Brian Campbell. AJ, Mercenary McKee, stand up. Let me just get this right, Rashad. Uh, head kick, uppercut, celebrate, guillotine, celebrate again. Reaction is what? Wow, Hakeem, look, I couldn't believe it, man. Listen, this kid did it right from the very beginning. What he did was he set up a nice little uh, counter with the kick when he was able to spring the trap for uh, uh, Patricio. Patricio does a really good job of leaving that arm out there, and he does it so that it's a trap. Once a guy goes past it, he anticipates him coming, and then he drops that big right hand in. So what McKee did was he started chipping away at the trap bringing the trap, if you say you will, by kicking the leg out. Once he had the leg kick going and he was able to get Patricio to bite on a few fakes, then that, that head kick was there all day and he caught him with it. Perfect. Very smart. This kid is on another level. Yeah, you can hear the paraphrase the NFL coach, Dennis Green. AJ McKee is who he said he was, and that's the next big thing. Not just in the featherweight division, not just in Bellator MMA, but with this kind of performance against a decorated champion with this resume and Pitbull, one of the bigger things coming in this sport. Look, it's not hyperbole. Biggest fight in Bellator history, biggest performance we could have imagined. Yes, both Rashad and I picked AJ McKee. I picked him by decision. I did not expect he would go in there and in quick time, essentially used Pitbull's finishing move, the front guillotine choke against him. He may have botched the celebration, yes, but what A.J. McKee has done in seemingly such a short window, right? Six years as a pro, all under the Bellator banner. Let's not forget, he has been calling for the Pitbull fight since his pro debut. We talked up his poise, his calm demeanor, the fact that it just seems like this is what he's supposed to do. His upbringing's different. So is his game. So is his swagger. AJ McKee, the real deal, is a very big night for Bellator MMA. 10 of his 13 wins via KO or submission in the first round. And BC, I asked you before this fight happened, who is going to dictate the tempo? You saw AJ McKee shoot first. You saw AJ McKee dictate the tempo and then wins within two minutes. 
Uh, yeah, shoot to thrill. Hey, let's wake up here, okay? We did a little segment on Morning Combat last week called Resume Review. We did 80 minutes on the great Patricio Pitbull. Why? Because like my co-host Luke Thomas said, Patricio Pitbull's history is Bellator MMA's history. He was the face of the franchise. Most career wins, almost every record you can think of. Nobody does this to Patricio Pitbull. I'm sorry, nobody does. He's got such a great history. If he has lost, which has just been a couple times, he's rebounded in such big ways. In some of Pitbull's biggest losses, he was the guy coming on late. That's what makes this scenario so surprising. McKee took the brass ring, grasped it, went after it, was the same, he kept the same energy is what I'm trying to say, and that's what's remarkable here, because Pitbull was a different level of opponent, brought a different level of danger in, but you still saw that relaxed, explosive, dynamic McKee. He didn't come out there soft, he didn't come out too passive, he kept that same energy, he's a dynamic force, and I'm not I'm not done with this one fight, guys. I want to, let's fight forever here. We still got a belt at 155. I kind of want to see these two again i kind of get the feeling we will see these two again i don't know if it's next but these are the two biggest stars in this promotion's history you got to run it back aj mckee what a performance rashad this kid is undefeated rising star 26 years old i mean what a display that he put on on this night yeah he celebrated prematurely but in that moment that he celebrates a little bit too early what did you see though his next step that was able to finish. I mean, when when he caught him with the uppercut, I mean, he had him there. He just kind of got a little too excited. But you know what? He's a young man. He wanted to get the nice walk away. KO does look good. But at the end of the day, we're there to do the job. And you don't stop until the referee gets hold of you. So that's a lesson learned. But listen, I like him to fight him uh, to fight Patricio again at 155. This kid is a very smart fighter. The way he adjusts in there, the way that he comes at the fight. Listen, you come in with a game plan. And sometimes you get your mind so stuck on the game game plan that you can't see anything else out you can't see you can't make the adjustments but what he did AJ does he makes the adjustments he sees he stays in there nice calm and relaxed and because he's nice calm and relaxed he's able to seize opportunities when they come this kid has a bright future um double champ whatever he wants to call himself because I think definitely at 155 he will get that belt as well 18 and oh and BC as you mentioned um the resume review curse continues uh, Patricio Pitbull uh, put to sleep in the first round. Um, hey, Rashad's lucky he's already retired because if I put that kind of stink <laughs> on him, okay, we got some bad news coming. I, I, I mean, what happened? What was the breakdown for Pitbull there? You know, what can you, know, you say? What can you say negative, right? Right, Rashad, what do you say negative about what Pitbull did? He got caught at the end of the day. It is what yeah. it is. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, everybody knows that Pitbull sets those traps. And by but the traps, I mean, he leaves that long arm extended and he kind of waits. It's like a little tamper. The minute someone goes past it, it's a sensor. And then he anticipates it and he throws a punch at the same time, usually the right hand. If you watch his game over and over again, you can kind of anticipate it. So you know what he needed to do? He needed to kind of come in a little bit differently. He needed to come in there a little bit more aggressive, not so much on a counter game. Once he knew that AJ was kind of changing things, up and slowing things down then he needed to make the uh, adjustments Patricio did to make the adjustments to then be first and then sometimes if you're being first you get the guy to react you can be last and that counts more than anything you know I want to point out here um, that uh, our experts went three for three Mystic Shad picked AJ McKee Brian Campbell picked AJ McKee and so did Snoop Dogg now, he doesn't work for CBS Sports hey. HQ, but we had him on here with his prediction. And, and he had his boy, uh, A.J. McKee, winning. Luke Thomas was going the way of Pitbull. That's all right. We'll, we'll, let, him, we'll let him slide uh, this time. But Rashad, also, too, like A.J. McKee, like this is in his genes. His father was a champ in, in MMA. What impact did that have on this young man uh, being supported, encouraged by his father? Now he's right now the greatest uh, at, at this featherweight level as he wins the Grand Prix in a million bucks. 
I think he's been groomed for this moment. His dad has been really grooming him for this moment every step of the way. The people he trained, the people that he has him around, every single thing he's been putting into this kid's mind from the beginning has all been about this moment. How to be a champion, what to do to be a champion, all these different steps. And you see it. You see the, you see how AJ is. He's so focused. He's such a different animal when he's out there and he's only getting better. He's super focused and he's having fun. He's enjoying this. When if somebody's having Having fun, it disguised the limit and what they can do. I get it so excited just even talking about it because I remember what that felt like. And, and just watching him go out there and do what he did tonight, it just kind of like it, it, it brings back old memories, man. Got me over here kind of emotional. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I, I love everything about this. And that leads me to my next question, BC, because what this means for Bellator. I mean, th that, that was an incredible first round finish, a standing guillotine. We don't get to see those very often. We got to see in Bellator. What did this fight mean? It's about it's huge for Bellator. You can't understate that at all. When we spent this whole week saying, look, this is the biggest fight in company history, you never know what's going to happen in the cage. It could have been a slow, technical chess match for five rounds. That wouldn't have given you that statement that we're taking potentially the two greatest fighters this promotion has ever seen and put them in there together. You not only get a spectacular finish here and really the cementing of a guy who – Again, all week, I, I was teasing, saying, look, this could be a Tiger Woods, a Floyd Mayweather of MMA, which is what A.J. McKee has already dubbed himself. Uh, this fight made it look like that's for real. Huge for the promotion because this is a homegrown superstar. Bellator has had different incarnations throughout its history. At times, it used the tournament format off the start to get its name out there. We've seen in the past Bellator bring in carnival-type fights, retired fighters go after free agency, bring in UFC washouts and bring them in. When Scott Coker took over, though, in 2014, there was a refocus on a real grassroots campaign. You try to work from the inside out, outside in, try to raise the next superstar who's never Never been seen before only under this Bellator brand from that standpoint the script went perfectly to where Bellator is trying to be AJ McKee has fulfilled that prophecy now you've got a storyline here we know Patricio Pipple as we mentioned also has that lightweight title he AJ's been talking from day one that he wanted to beat Pitbull at 130 at 145 and then move up to 155 I think these two could see the cage against one another two, three times in the long run. This is the potential for big business. And I think of what it shows to the rest of the world, including the UFC and the other competitors, is that Bellator might have at this point an argument that they've got the best fighter in the world at this specific weight class. And that's a strong foundation to stand on there for an organization that has been trying to really make its own identity over the years. To do it this way from the inside out, that, that's got to be a great feeling for Scott Coker and company. And now you've got a must-see fighter. Uh, hopefully they pay him to keep him there because this is a guy who earned his business under that Bellator flag. And as he said, holding up that championship after beating Pitbull, I'm going to keep this around my waist for the rest of my life. Uh, this will be fun. This will be every time he gets steps in the cage. You want to see something spectacular. And A.J. McKee has lived up to all these huge expectations so far. That's a special person right there. And this was a special evening at the fights. Yeah, you knew that. Uh, the Bellator was brewing something nice when Michael Chandler went over to the UFC and done really well at it, really performed, you know, outperformed a lot of people and really made a lot of noise. You knew, wow, there's something over here at Bellator that he just came from. And, and these guys over here at Bellator are growing. They're getting so much better. Not only did you see the great main event, but you've seen all the up and coming fighters, you know, uh, Nurmagomedov, you know, Mamadov, um, you know, it all the whole main event card was grassroots guys, guys coming through and, and really brought through by Bellator. And this is what the promotion needs. This is exactly what they need. And a guy like AJ McKee being the star, I mean, he's got star quality, great humble guy at the same time with a lot of sass to him, with a lot of cockiness, but just at that Ali temperature. That Ali temperature is is perfect for him. I like the where Bellator is going and I love the production tonight. It was just such a different from a year ago. Had off the Bellator and what they've been able to do. AJ McKee embodies his nickname Mercenary, a first round guillotine against pound for pound king Patricio Pitbull as AJ McKee wins the Grand Prix. I mean, it's incredible. Grand Prix championship featherweight and a million bucks. 
for the kid from Long Beach, California. Have a day, kid. AJ McKee, Brian Campbell, Rashad Evans. Thanks for breaking it down for us here on CBS Sports HQ. And for all things combat, check out Morning Combat, Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell. And you know they will have a complete wrap-up of Bellator 263. And what a performance by AJ McKee. You can watch the series on YouTube, listen to the podcast on Apple and Spotify. Morning Combat, download and subscribe today. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.